Well, it's the weeping in the morning and the gnashing of teeth. And when it comes to my set, ooh, 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 it's the champion song. Believe, believe. Oh, 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 okay. How many of you guys remember that? Nobody? Alright, well, that's one of my videos that I am least proud of. Although it's gotten 12,000 views and strong, that's, that's not my best work. I mean, anyone could put the word Illuminati in a video, and I'm pretty sure that video was going to get views. But just hear me out for a second, okay? This video is going to be the follow-up to that video, answering any questions of that last video where I didn't really talk about anything the title related to. So, without further ado, I know the saying is, don't beat a dead horse, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to beat that horse until, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's a horrible thing to do, you know? Why, why, why would you beat up a dead animal that's dead? You know, what did he ever do to you? So I'm going to list all the Illuminati symbolism in this game, NBA 2K13, starting from the top with the most obvious choice in Jay-Z. A lot of people say that him and Beyonce are the king and queen of the Illuminati, and, you know, to each their own. I can't sit here and tell you the Illuminati's real, I can't sit here and tell you the Illuminati's fake. It's whatever you believe in. To some people, the Illuminati is a devil-worshipping club that sells their soul to the devil to get fame while other people think that it's a gay strip club in Michigan. So, I'm not the peacemaker here. I'm not the, the priest in your church that sits behind a wall and you vent all your problems to him, okay? I'm not that pedophile priest that you have at your church. I'm just the guy that has opinions on the internet, and if you guys know me personally, you would know my belief on this situation. The main reason why people think of NBA 2K13 being an Illuminati symbolism game is because of Jay-Z. Um, personally, I believe I started the trend. Uh, I was the first person to uh, make an Illuminati video for NBA 2K13. I don't know if that's something to be proud of considering it was the demo and I was just talking about the gameplay rather than what the title suggested. But hopefully in this video, I convert you into loving the devil. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Calm down. No, no. Don't comment me things, okay? You hurt my feelings. I cry. I cut myself. Cut for Bieber. No, I'm just kidding. Don't cut for Bieber. That's, that's also awful. Now... I'm afraid to show you guys this, but I'm going to leave some rare gameplay footage of NBA 2K13 and the Illuminati symbolism it has revolving around it. I've seen other people's Illuminati videos, you know, uh, they had some interesting topics, but I believe these few topics that I'm going to raise are going to blow your mind away how it was just in front of us all this time. So I'm going to flash you a game between the Spurs and the Rockets I recorded. Uh, like I said, very rare footage right here. And, uh, well, let's begin. The first devilish item that I'm going to show you might blow your mind because janitors use it every time there's a wet floor. That's right. The wet floor sign. Obviously, it's a part of the Illuminati. As you can see, there's a triangle with a person in it. That means they just sold their soul to the Illuminati. So, whenever you see your janitor put down that wet sign, that means... Somebody in the past or somebody in the future sold their soul in that exact same spot. Not just because somebody s spilled soda or milk on the floor. It's because they sold their soul to the devil on that floor right there. Right where he put that sign. That's exactly where the deal was made. Everybody knows that's how Kendrick Lamar got big, right? Right? Illuminati. Okay. Now, on to the next subject. It's in plain sight. Sprint. Just, just think about that. Sprint. Sprint is a part of the Illuminati. And in the dictionary, sprint means to run, to be moving fast. That's, that's my own definition, basically. You're running, you know? That, that's, that's the definition of sprinting. But if you look in the middle of the word sprint, the fourth letter, what is, what is the letter? The fourth letter in sprint. What, what, what letter is that? Hmm? That's right. It is an I for Illuminati. Illuminati. You know, simple things like this have been in front of our faces for a long, long time, and I'm, I'm just, I'm barely throwing them out there for the, the public, you know, because you guys need to see this. And finally, this is the biggest evidence of Illuminati symbolism in this whole entire game. I've been keeping this a secret for quite some time, but instead of me doing it, I'm going to let James Harden, my favorite NBA flopper, explain to you guys what he thinks about this. Jeez, mm -mm, oh yeah. Mm. God, I can't believe I got over the fact of getting traded from OKC to Houston. I mean, 
there's there's so much better things in Houston, you know. I I get to spend thousands of dollars on a top notch model just to hang out with them, you know. Nothing else, not to not to do anything sexual to them. Just just to hang out, you know, have fun. That model, she liked Doritos, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't like Doritos. That that's that's some Illuminati stuff right there. And when she put, what is that? There's a du- refs. There's a Dorito on the f- re- Oh my god! Don't make me flop on you. I'll do it. Ready? Re- uh, oh, oh god! I fell the wrong way. Uh, b- back to you, Chuck. Uh, my name's not Chuck, but thanks, Harden, for your in-depth details about my last piece of evidence. That's right, Doritos, Illuminati written all over it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this at this point. I really thought this was a creative idea that I haven't seen anyone do, and I wanted to do it, you know, because my first Illuminati video was a hit, even though if we got a lot of dislikes, uh, I, I just had to do another one. So I hope anyone watching this right now just take this as a big joke because I wasn't being serious at all in this video. This was just a gigantic joke for your guys' entertainment and I hope you guys really enjoyed. But uh, other than that, expect more NBA videos from me soon and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.